yourselves a little look at this assembly and tell me if you notice anything unusual about what you see. No? Just looks like a standard good old assembly. Well, what about this? Oh, you got it. There's no fool in you. Right, okay, so what the whole point of that was is that in this assembly, though, there was one, two, three, four parts which didn't have a material assigned, and before they were made yellow, there was pretty much no way of actually seeing visually that there wasn't a material assigned to those parts. And the reason for that is Inventor's default texture for something you've modeled that hasn't got a material is grey. It's like a drab grey. Whereas a metal colour or a, you know an iron or a steel colour is also a drab grey. It's very difficult to pick out parts that haven't been assigned a material to parts that are kind of just a metal colour. So if we go to the Bill of Materials tab and then select one of these parts, you can see that the material is still set as generic, which is the, the nothing inventor hasn't been told what it's made of material. However, when it's now generic, it's been set to yellow and those stand out like a sore thumb. So that's something which I think could benefit a lot of people. Make your default texture something bright and garish, and then when you compile an assembly together, anything that you forgot to assign a material to stands out massively over and above everything else. So how do we go about doing this? Right, well, first things first, we need to do a bit of prep work, and you need to be a bit cautious about this based on where you work. If you're just a you know a draft, you're an engineer in a drawn office, and you have a CAD manager, then you maybe need to talk to the CAD manager about this before you go trying to change settings. But you want to go over to your project file, and then in the invented project file that you work with, you want to right-click on Use Style Library and set that to read write because ultimately we're going to have to publish a change up, up to the style library so we need to make uh, that read write once that's done you want to open up your default standard.ipt template again something which if you're working at home fine if you're working in a drawing office you can't just be doing that you need to speak to your CAD manager your IT manager your engineering manager whoever's responsible for the templates before you go trying to change those but uh, if you're not comfortable with changing the standard template you can't just make a copy of it and then say, right, well, I'll change this to, you know, my company template, and then we'll we'll use that instead of changing the, the default one out of the box. So we'll open up my company template, and you'll see that by default, the first material is just generic. That's It's just nothing. It doesn't have any material properties. It's just nothing. And then that generic material is just assigned a default texture, which is that drab gray color, which is very mistaken for metal and iron and, and everything else. So what you want to do is you want to click this little globe button here and then you want to right click on generic and then edit the name of the generic material and then change this to something like material not assigned or, or no material in all caps, something like that. Uh, if you want to, if you want to be kind of anal about it, you can copy and paste that over there so it's descriptions also material not assigned. Go to the appearance tab and at the moment its appearance is that drab gray color. Click the little color bar here and then change that to something bright and in your face. As long as that bright and in your face color doesn't conflict with something else that you might use. You know, if you create a lot of machinery that's painted green, don't make this material green. Common sense, you know, you'll know what I mean by that. Something that's gonna stand out over and above everything else that you use. So I'll change this to a bright lime green kind of color and then hit apply. And then that's now the default material changed to material not assigned and that color is going to be a bright in your face hi i'm not assigned green color all right we can save the template but because we've made a change to the default material and texture that's going to cause a style conflict which means whenever we start a new ipt off of the my company template uh, which we can't because it's open uh, you're going to get uh, this here which is a style conflict that's inventor saying whoa hang on a minute there's settings in the, the template which are different to what's in the global style manager which is a totally different topic for different i've actually done a video on that already which has been kind of lost into the back catalog uh, but i'm not going to go into that at this point so just to get around that what you do is you open up that template and then you go to manage and then you save this the, the changes that you've done up to the library so you click yes to save to style library click ok and then click yes this whole style manager malarkey is more confusing and complicated than it really needs to be but I don't think it's really high on the list of priorities for Autodesk to, uh, to to tidy it up. But never mind, never mind. Save that again and then shut it down. Right, now, when you start a new part uh, using my company template, right, the style conflict's gone. And you can see now that our, our first material is material not assigned. So if you start modeling something up and this part ends up in a bill of materials in an assembly, when you open up that bill of materials, 
that material not assigned tag is going to stick out massively. You, if you miss that, then it's on you. <laughs> it's on you if you miss that. Easy to miss the word generic, but material not assigned, you, you can't miss that. So let's start modeling something up. Let's create a, a rectangle, whatever, just boxes. I like some, I like, and I love me some boxes. And then you can see there that the default color for anything that's not been given a material is bright neon green. And then when you do eventually, oh, yeah, of course I need to change the material, change it to steel, it's gonna change the texture from uh, the bright green to whichever texture is associated to the materials. And there you go, that's how you visibly give yourself a reminder to assign a material to a part and make sure that anything that isn't given a material stands out massively in an assembly. Uh, it would be nice if Autodesk could introduce something which kind of lets you do that by default. I mean, using something like iLogic will let you run rules to check for parts that haven't been given a material. Yes, I know there will be other ways of doing this, but this is just a nice, simple, old school, old fashioned way of giving yourself a nice visual reminder that there isn't a material assigned to your parts. All right then, that'll do it for this video. Thank you very much. Uh, if you likes what I do, usual stuff, end of the video, Patreon link is in the post roll video if you want to support the channel. Uh, or uh, you can go over to Pluralsight and sign up for a free trial using my affiliate link. Anyone that uses that affiliate link uh, gets me a kickback from Pluralsight for you signing up to a free trial. So that's another way of supporting the channel. Uh, I've done a few training courses over there and there's a Vault Professional installation course about a drop from me over on Pluralsight any minute now uh, so if you're interested in installing Vault Professional and getting up and running with that I've got a full start to finish training course on that and uh, yeah thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one Toodles.